The second day of Freedom, and it is wonderful. It's very nice. I, I feel uh, safe in San Pedro because there's so much is outside already. There's plenty of, you know, airflow, and it's not hard to social distance. So I do, uh, you know, understand uh, some people would prefer to continue wearing them. I do, uh, in certain instances, inside, you know, businesses or uh, what have you, so try to be safe, but I think it's it's great. Not having the curfew brings people to our island, you know, I mean, that's what they come here for, to, to have a good time, especially on the, on the nightlife, right? So, uh, yes, yes, it's a blessing, man, to, but be, there's free, no, to be free. Yes. But no nightclubs? Not as yet, but we're getting there, you know, I mean, again, this is the, this is the island, man, this is what San Pedro is, you know, the nightlife. So, uh, looking forward to that. So I think it's going to get the island uh, back again, you know, for everyone, the, the business owners and visitors alike. It's beautiful. It's, uh, you get a chance to really embrace the culture and really get to meet a lot more people and, you know, get a little bit more taste of Belize, you know, being so constricted before. Uh, you, you didn't get a chance to really do that, you know, but now you get to see a little bit of the nightlife and you get to see people's smiles and faces and it it's, feels a little bit more like home. It's, it's overwhelming. We, it's, we've been waiting for this for a while because reason being, thing is that when tourists come here with money to spend and a curfew is holding them back from spending that money, they're taking back half of that money they came to spend or, or more, you know, because they're, they're limited. So the freedom now, it helps. It, it will look better on the tourism in San Pedro and it will bring more people, open-minded people that actually have something to do when they come here. They want to do stuff. They want the adventures that we have to offer. Are the tourists spending right now? They are spending um, and it, they're going to be spending a, a way more than they were spending because no more limitations. They had to go home by 11 or by 12 and that, that was like a, a, a fear factor for them. Uh, getting busted by the cops, going home after curfew and stuff like that, no more of that, it's done. So now the money that they actually come to spend and have a good time, it will happen now. They're really rebounding, uh, but in the case as well, I'm saying, people come but they don't have money. They just come to relax their mind after this long holiday business and thing, right? They got a few people where come and spend and thing, but you don't pick up that much as say, you feel it financially. So tourists aren't spending like they used no, to? They're not spending like they used to. We still the struggle along the way, but as well, I'm saying, time will tell. And there are a lot of restrictions and things like that they don't really like. You know, kind of complain that, man, I have to pay for this, I got to pay for that. Kind of up on the streets so and talk to me every day. So they don't have to wear masks. Will tourists spend more money? Um, well, yeah, because a lot of them too, sometimes they say that, you know, like the mask disturb them and, you know, so yeah. It's better like that that we, um, you know, we sell like that. But I mean, they they come vaccinated, so we don't have to worry about anything because they vaccinated, we vaccinated, and you know, so we don't have to use it, and it's good. What do you feel about the end of the curfew? Oh, thank God, <laughs> it's good because um, well, I don't go out like that, but it's good because um, you know, sometimes you can't be out on the road late but sometimes you want to leave snack and you want to go to town go buy something and then you can't so but it's good